You know, 40% of Iceland's population lives in Reykjavik, which is the capital. This is our little spot right here. We are now heading out to explore the town, the capital city of Iceland named Reykjavik. We just got the ticket onto our car, which is a good, it's a good kind of ticket. <laughs> and now we are going to Harpa. How can I say it more Icelandic? Harpa. Harpa is a concert hall with a very cool architectural basis. I'm gonna get a little bit more information about this. When was it built? 2011. Okay. It's a music and conference center. Awesome, we're looking forward to seeing it. Thank you. The concert hall is pretty sweet. It looks like they're building things over there as well. Iceland. It's actually one of the tallest or the tallest structure here in Iceland. It's actually not that old, but it did take 41 years to build. I believe they stopped building in like 1980s, 1986 potentially. The architecture, he actually built this to resemble the rocks, glaciers, and mountains of Iceland's landscape. How grim scared catch. I just stopped trying. It's actually a Lutheran church. It's about 74.5 meters tall. Let's go inside. structure with amazing facts that I've already told you. So I have nothing else to say. Let's go to the next site. <laughs> So every time you walk around the corner and you see straight through the buildings, you just see straight into delicious mountains with the ocean view. And it's just one of the most amazing things. It's also amazing that Iceland is one of the most peaceful places in the world. Like moms even like leave their babies and stuff outside of stores. I haven't seen that yet. They just, everyone's so trusting and, and peaceful here. The crime rate is very low. There's very few people in prison. Up until 1987, there was no broadcast to TV on Thursdays here to promote more human interaction. So we're walking to the square to try to find something to eat. And we found the noodle station. Yeah. They just moved locations. That's all. That's all. So they didn't close down. They're in business. Noodle station. The air is so fresh. When you breathe, it just cleanses your lungs and your nostrils. We're about to go see this Viking monument. The Vikings actually settled here in the late 9th century. They came on the seas. The uh, farmland is so bad, so they really had a rough time. Only about 1% of this land is farmable. So most of their food actually comes from this ocean. Fish, you know? One of the delicacies here is actually a fermented shark. Bury it in the ground, I believe, and they, they eat the fermented shark, which uh, I don't think we're gonna try. <laughs> I think my favorite part about Iceland is is the architecture. I really, really love the architecture. The language, like I've said, it's just been such a uh, culture thing. To hear all these people talking in a different language everywhere you go, even at Subway. There's just history here, you know? The golden hour is coming. This has been absolutely beautiful. If you're taking the time out of your day to watch episode two, then we appreciate it so much. Episode three, which is gonna start tomorrow, is gonna be absolutely amazing. It's gonna be the golden circle, which is one of the areas in Iceland that are just the most beautiful. This was a Reykjavik day, Iceland episode two. We might call episode three the golden circle, so make sure to Check that out. There's a park and it's beautiful. We will get some drone footage and then maybe see you hopefully in episode three. He and his crew were the first permanent settlers in Iceland and named the place Reykjavik, which means Smoke Cove, on account of billowing steam rising from the area's hot spring. Here, the settler is standing by his high seat pillar, decorated with a dragon's head. You can also see the mythical tree, Jägerstrasil. You can look that one up. 
as well as the Worm of Midgard and Odin's eight-legged horse, Slipner. I don't see any of those creatures. Look harder. I have to look a little harder. Look harder, Mark. Let's go around on this side. Okay. Down the vlog. I'm on the vlog. Welcome to Iceland. I don't see the horse. I don't see the bird. And the eight-legged horse is yet to be acknowledged. There's no horse. Sorry. <laughs>